Yeah, so we are uh, actually getting into the class. Uh, Melissa, good morning. Good morning. I hope you can see me right now. So, uh, so we have Marisia, architect Marisia Abubakar yes. today with us, and uh, I will give you a brief uh, before uh, Marisia uh, takes over the class. Uh, let me just give you a small introduction about Marisia to all of you. Okay, so Marisia uh, Abubakar, she's associate designer, or she, sorry, she's a senior project manager and an architect at Wanders Wagner Architects at Dubai Design District and UAE. Okay, and uh, her uh, Wanders Wagner Architect, that's a German company, okay, and they are finance and building uh, luxury villas and uh, high rise projects and all at uh, the commercial, uh, good commercial places in UAE like Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and all. Okay, so they have so many prestigious projects running there of which uh, Marisia is a part uh, of from beginning to end. And uh, so she manages many of these premium level projects there. Okay, so uh, and her education, if I have to brief on the education a little bit. Okay, she uh, has a master's in project management from Abu Dhabi University. And she has served as a co-principal research investigator there. Uh, so Marisia is currently in Dubai. Again, she's uh, live from there uh, to be with us to take uh, a good session to, for you. She will be introducing you to the different styles of design, okay? Uh, by uh, using, I mean, by telling you the associated designers and their famous works. So she is going to introduce you the different different styles of design. So you're going to get into a, a new subject today, a new uh, information today. So uh, let us invite Maricia uh, and, uh, yeah, so Marisia, I think we can start. Thank you, Sakma, for your kind words. Good morning, young designers from India. Uh, very good to see you guys there. Uh, I think it's uh, 11.30 there and it is uh, 10, 10 here in Dubai. Okay, uh, I'm going to share my screen. So basically what I want to introduce is that young minds, you are chasing your dreams now, correct? You have a lot of dreams of becoming a great designer. So... Today, I'm going to introduce different international styles in design. Okay, I'm going to share my screen, I hope. Can you see my screen? Yeah, good. Good size. Yeah. Perfect. See, I want one-to-one -one interaction, yeah? Please feel free to interrupt me anytime. So let's go to the different styles. Before that, what I want to introduce us three things, okay, before going to all these styles. Firstly, you have to design your dreams, okay? Designing your dreams starts from the day one. So you have to chase your dreams. Mm -hmm. And in order to chase your dreams, or uh, in order to, uh, to become the wish come true, you should have the courage to pursue them. It requires a lot of hard work, effort, and so on, but, and also a lot of inspiration. From this class, what I'm trying to regain is that you get inspired by different designers, architects, all over the world. See, everyone needs to be inspired, right? One or other way. So in order for you to join this course, someone would have inspired you, correct? Someone would have inspired you to become an interior designer or a designer, true? So let's see how different styles have are going to be inspiring for you from now on, okay? And next thing is that all great things begins with a vision. So don't just get confined to small things. Dream higher. Try to get a bigger goal, you know? You have to dream a lot. You have to dream, dream, and dream. And then design your dream. And then one fine day, the door will knock. I tell you, this is from my personal experience. Once back when I was in India as a student and I, when I graduated, I also got this knock from a company and then, okay, then I'm here in Dubai in a German company. 
so i always had a dream you know i wanted to work in an international enterprise so see so you have to dream you never know one day you will get the knock on your door so let's go to the first oh i think someone has drawn on my screen <laughs> let me clear it okay what minimalism is all about when it comes to interiors can 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 one of you give me some idea what you have about minimalism it's very easy from the word right minimalism you can speak yeah yes please so minimalism from my understanding is like it's basically only essential items are being used essential so, yeah so essential items essential. no luxury items no luxury items especially like branded things um it's nothing, nothing to do with brands okay not That's brand not like to do with brands but the point that you mentioned is right essential items it is functional items right like avashyam ulladu correct yes okay next mm. please feel free it's okay it's just shoot your answers no problem let's interact we should know each other right yes next what minimalism what of yeah. uh, colors and uh, basic geometric uh, shapes being used uh, basic geometry okay you mean no uh, like no funky or curves like very geometric yeah right yes, you mean yes. that okay okay and, uh, new, neutral colors like white uh, beige uh, greens okay neutral colors not striking hardcore colors very neutral you mean pleasant okay okay neutral colors that is a good term very good yalla no problem shoot no problem shoot shoot your answers it's okay if it's wrong okay emelisi i have a few uh, answers here for your question ha uh, sorry i cannot read it you have yeah, re reducing as much as possible unless nothing can be reduced oh uh, it's true yes it's true yes the one is using the given space usefully and attractive by using minimum objects very true correct correct yes yeah and another one is very simple pale with very few things very true yes and you know this is trending right now and it is an international stuff so let me go more on to it you have said most of it right let me see just one request one request uh -huh. one request um can you make it into a slide show i can see the panel oh, on the sure, left sure 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 i can do it yeah fine yeah, yeah, yes okay tell okay. us so this guy is a famous architect and furniture designer and he has done a lot of interior designs also from germany mr lugmias wanderoh he introduced this minimalism not only him many 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 designers introduced minimalism in different parts of the world he said less is more correct no less is more less is enough or less can speak more that's more act less can speak more so he said clean lines very reductive very limited use of materials or elements not cluttered so much monochromatic someone said neutral yeah i don't remember the name because i'm not familiarized with the names it's very neutral very simple very very simple let's go more into it so note this word throughout your life less is more you will be hearing this word so many times okay you will be hearing this quotation more and more okay so i have some of the mood board this is called mood board yeah some pictures of the same style so this is a mood board of minimalism mm -hmm. so the design needs to be very clear very clear simple at the same time it shouldn't be boring yeah it should be it shouldn't be boring so there should be some element which attracts the client correct or the people or the person who is using the space this is where the use of 
very important light plays a role so if you see the first image first image it's open plan right very less use of walls only the enclosure is there there is no other uh, partitions or walls acting and you can see a sky you can see my pointer right yeah this is called skylight the skylight is bringing sufficient light so that the room has enough light and you don't need any artificial source of light on during the daytime and the window you you don't see a window element as such because it's very open and you have a very nice view to outside so you don't need a frame there correct you don't need a frame or you don't need a sculpture it is actually acting as a piece of art correct correct the opening yes. is actually acting as a piece of art you don't need to do anything more than that and if you see it has it has no tiling or any painting or any posture or any prints on the wall what is it what is on the wall what material any guesses concrete concrete yes normal mat concrete you have just concrete walls and concrete floors so it is concrete walls and concrete floor and the ceiling is also the same and if you go to the second image this is a series sorry i can hear some sounds uh this is a series of steps yeah and here they have made it made it interesting can you tell me what made this stair interesting for you it stays like some settings someone's audio is giving me a background sound i'm sorry so can you either mute it for some time yeah and then we'll unmute it again uh yeah so please tell me what is the staircase speaking to you the main theme is the steps uh huh the steps and so yes. they different forms of steps to different not forms okay. different sizes very sizes size. correct not form form means it's a three dimension of a shape it's the same shape the same form yeah yes. squares to it's again squares so it's not a different form it is the varying sizes correct yes. correct yes okay and a rhythm is created correct yes and what what are the other things that attracts you there is nothing is just white room correct yeah. but it looks nice it's pleasing it's attractive correct okay yeah. if you go to the other one and you and you see there is no balustrade for the stairs it is just hanging elements that is also yeah that is essential correct it should load the, it should bear the weight of the staircase it should carry the staircase weight should be carried also and if you see the next one normal it looks concrete or it could be a terrazzo tiles terrazzo is like our ceramic tiles okay mm -hmm. normal or it can be a concrete tile and if you see the shower space you can see um, a a tub a ceramic tub a, a tub basically and you can see the opening is just a glass with a lining that's called lining that border is called lining yeah it's a metal lining but it 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 is giving definition definition means the boundary for the line for the glass correct that's pleasing and if you go to the others the other in the left hand end you can see wood and concrete been used correct it's just a contrast of wood and concrete so this one cre minimalism also tries to bring contrast either it, with the colors or with different materials yeah wood and concrete glass and concrete or glass and fabric or wood and fabric you know you can play with different material being used as contrast or you can use different colors okay am i am i going too fast or is it okay oh next if you see the one is a kitchen island kitchen island kitchen is like a show kitchen it's not the main kitchen it's just a show kitchen you just have your breakfast morning breakfast or you make some juice or sandwich and the stools if you see it's like a bar stool it's a high stool and uh, the color of the stool is very complementing to the what the island uh, counter top this is counter top what i'm showing with the pointer is called counter top yeah 
and then I can see a sleek diffuser. This is AC diffuser or light. Maybe I, for me, I think it's a, it could be a light diffuser or it could be an AC diffuser. So this is what is very minimalistic. Only whatever is required is there. Very functional. It's called functional. Atyavshitne venda sadhanengal matra. Very functional. Okay. And if you see the next shower space, it's very attractive. You have the rain shower, and then you have a stool, and you have a just a just a, this is called niche. This is niche. Okay. Niche is to place things. A niche. And it's very simple. And you can see the light is playing. A lot of role in these spaces. Yeah, correct. Light, but important character. Light is playing a lot of role, and it is litting the space. And there is naturally a contrast is created. You don't need an artificial light, basically, correct? Because they are using the low tones of color. And if you see the last one, there is wood and a green wall. This is green wall, yeah. And and there's a the green wall has been reflected by the mirror on the left side. So there is attention, yeah. What is attention in this? What is the focal point? Huh? The green wall. The no. green wall. Yeah, no. the green wall. Once I go to this room or the washroom, my attention or my attraction is to the focal point, and my focal point is the green wall. Correct? Yes. So this design needs to be very clear, very simple, not boring. But the essential use of light, form, and beautiful materials. Beautiful materials means it need not be, uh, you know, a very expensive material. It can be very natural. But don't think these are not branded. These are branded. You can also use branded or unbranded material. It's not minimalism has got nothing to do with brands. Okay. Next one. Okay, here everything should be functional and add values to the space. If you see the right and end, you can see a spiral staircase. This spiral staircase is acting as a sculpture on its own. Correct? This is attracting the room. Yeah, very nice uh, spiral staircase is on the right and end, which is you don't need to what do you say uh, beautify it anymore. This is already a beauty on right. End. And if you see, this is a light, and the light is acting as an element. Correct? Right, light is acting as an element of art, and these. This is also again a light. Can you see these spikes? This is a light. So you are using all these elements, which are very essential for this room. At the same time, these elements are giving all the beauty or needed for this space. Correct? Did you like it? Maybe because every each. I cannot force everyone to like this because everyone has different style, yeah. And you know, sometimes we have our own style, and client comes with a different style. Okay, we will go to it in coming slides. Okay, and here the focus is the cushions or the sofa. Correct. The sofa is in a different color, so in the white or a gray tone, I have a a different color sofa. So my focus is going to it. Right now, next one. The palette, the color palette. So you have a color palette when you make a room. Sometimes, yeah, your color, your client comes and says, you know what? I I don't want these colors. I want to I want to furnish my room in this colors only. Okay, you are given a color palette, but but as a designer, you need to bring life to the room. Yeah, jivan gundu eranam to the room. So that life is brought here. How? What is bringing life in this room? The green. The green. The color green. I appreciate because you said the color green because I you didn't say it is a plant. It's a color green which brightens up the room. Which is a monochromatic color based theme. Correct. The palette is monochromatic, black and white theme. But the green is emphasizing the room so much. It is bright enough. Now going to the next. Here, it's very minimalistic. I I don't use or I don't see any decorative element. Any decoration on top? No, no decoration. What is being placed? What is playing here? What element is playing here? Can you say? The color palette. Color the palette. No, no, not the palette. Not the palette. Like the difference. Only two colors are. Yeah. What do you call it? What do you call it? What do you uh, call? Monochromatic. 
not monochromatic not monochromatic what do you call what do you call you just said the definition what do you call that contrast perfect contrast contrast it's a contrast perfect very good so contrast so it is a reductive design element without any ornamentation or any sort of decoration i cannot see any wall hanging pictures nothing you know this is a light even the switches are designed in such a way that it suits or matches with the wall and the design yeah even the cushions or the pillows everything even even the see this is a pelmet and the curtains are this is not curtains like a blind so it's a home automation yeah it's it's going so well to the design even see each and every there is detailing in this there is detailing in this see difference in this this is one detail this is one detail this is one detail this there is you know push and pull there is a difference in the surface levels if you see ha how many of you like this pop art yeah i think many of you like pop art yeah here this is very funky uh, launch in a great example of pop art minimalism in this room it's very normal room correct very normal space it's like a studio you have a kitchen it's, you cannot even call it a kitchen you can call it a pantry and you have a launch and what is attracting the space shoot yalla shoot shoot your answers please the pop art picture the picture yes. the picture on the wall yeah the wall and the sofa especially the sofa, sofa. And, the and the color of the sofa too yes. yeah yeah the color of the sofa and you know these uh, the white wall is really complementing to the color of the sofa right there is a contrast that is being created everything is so neutral that sofa is striking out so you you know you can brighten up a space with just one element or one poster clear clear yes uh, okay okay this is one example look at this what what could be the space oh. hmm this what could be the symmetry space? symmetry symmetry um no i am asking what space is this is it a living church church the church. 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 church and what is this wall what could be this wall concrete no 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 i'm not talking about the material i'm talking about the space this is um, church church in the ullil that the wall where god is placed the altar the altar wall the light is coming light okay. is acting as the cross correct cross. yeah cross. so this is minimalism where they have played the use of light in order to symbolize something correct this is called symbolism okay so symbolism can happen in minimalism or can take place in minimalism so this japanese architect tadao ando tadao ando okay when you have time search more about these people they are they are the world famous best contributor in designs tadao ando perfect japanese architect or a designer who got priska prize called the pis award like pis award the award for architecture is called priska prize so here is a perfect example for seven elements space correct space is utilized well there is a play of lines there is a play a play of form there is light color and pattern so you can see in this element seven Uh, in this example, seven seven elements of interior design. Did you like this church of light? So you can see he has used a contrast because of the the concrete wall is giving a darker contrast and light is playing a role. So dark and light contrast is played, solid and void. There is solidity and there is void. The void spaces which brings the light. void remember opening okay void means like opening 
and there is some serenity yeah when you go to the space if i go back to the slide again sorry no no if i go back to the space again there is serenity there is purity correct if you be there and if you pray you feel a serenity there is a lot of peace of course and uh, the light is giving you a peace of mind at the same time and the concrete is poured and formed gives a concrete luminous quality when exposed to natural light so now going to the next have you seen this type have you seen this type this is this was uh, yes or no have you seen yes yes this is a very detailed design this is called art novo art novo and uh, this was emerged in germany see the basic thing is that you can see these stairs yeah i have put a dotted uh, I mean, broken line circle here just to show that the plan the basically this is very from nature nammada nature la la creepers plants those designs are inspired and used in this designs okay leaves if you can see you can see leaves you can see flowers the creepers hanging or these are very much inspired from nature see shell in the curls all these things are like the, these patterns are inspired from nature this curvy nature and you can call these patterns also arabesque okay like mashrabia jali okay these patterns are called in such a way they are very decorative ornamental okay very decorative yeah is it like minimalism no, no. just the opposite of minimalism correct very opposite of minimalism and very very what very uh, detailed ornamented there is a lot of use of glass okay you just tell me what are the materials that is used in these pictures brass brass very good marble marble yes shiny yeah very shiny not very matte good. not matte metal shiny very polished yes very glossy also gold gold metallic colors are like the bases yes enamel gold metallic yes very true these velvet velvet uh, or carpets rocks these material are being used for playing a great role in this correct ha yes. now you have a very different uh, again art nouveau mm -hmm. correct tell me what is striking you in this picture the color contrast the color uh, contrast the carpet the carpet is turquoise or like green yes. yes the greens yes the and green. the black and white photo gallery yes and did you see this pattern yeah you have a lot of pattern you have lot of elements correct oru baad elements und here if you see you have a motif running you have see how many elements if you compare a minimalistic picture to this you can really feel the difference correct in door element you have a lamp shade you have two lamp shades you have lot of books been placed you have lot of sculptures you have this plant you have so many if you spot you have a fire place you have a glass element playing a mirror so you know there are lot of play which is happening by the elements you can see a uh, difference of material on the flooring also correct now going to this where the client has a brief the client comes and tells you i need a space uh, which is a former art novo so i need to make it a little more interesting by adding a little bit of contemporary touch korchu modern aaki therana that is the client's uh, you know uh, demand so what do you do you use i uh, mean of course you need to study so every time it's like a research when you when you have a demand or when you have to do something you need to do a backup research correct correct you research yes. a lot on that you see a lot of youtube videos or you see a lot of pinterest you see a lot of uh, uh, the designers who is associated with and then you have to come up with a design that's called inspiration hmm 
that's not called copying copying is like making something which someone has made other inspiration or remember you what you do is basically you imbibe something or the design quality of a designer and then you want to you want to use them in your design or you want to not use them what you can see you want to reflect them in your design mm -hmm. it's a very different washroom from what we saw in minimalism correct very different washroom be careful i'm going to ask you a few questions at the end of the session i'm going to ask you which different international style you like and why is it so and i want everyone to answer this so be focused yalla clear i would be asking you at the end of the session which international style you like the most and why is it so okay ha have you seen this okay this is in spain okay this is la grada la sagrada familia please note it down this is a task for you guys task for you guys in my next session i'm going to ask any one of you randomly about this task one is to check out the interiors of la grada la sagrada familia by antonio gaudi you know if you see how much ornamentation is done only for the exterior this is exterior it looks like an ant hill ant hill urumbin gud something similar on concept so can you imagine if the exterior is this much detailed what would be the interior what do you think will be the interior any guesses extravagant mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very detailed no very detailed it yes. is going to be correct very detailed look at the exterior these are not pixelated this is the detail so this is a task note it down give me a thumbs up please very good ha art deco this is something which which was ex, uh, inspired which got inspired by art nouveau something similar to art nouveau this is called art deco okay very ornamented but this is more symmetrical that one was more asymmetrical this is very symmetrical this is trending now in uae or in almost in, i don't know in india whether it is trending but in uae in other countries this is very trending uh, they do a lot of restaurants uh, especially hospitality hotels resorts and many things with this type of design even houses also like high end luxury villas we do a lot of art deco design uh, next class inshallah i'll show you more on this and this is like geometrical in art deco you can see a lot of geometrical patterns correct see the flooring squares yeah very geometrical patterns and uh, you can see very symmetrical very symmetrical and you can see clean cuts lines cuts you can see correct if you see the walls it's very very like you can see a lot of lines playing a role you can see a lot of polygons you can see rectangles zigzags and material is something similar to art nouveau only like you have chrome you have glass shiny fabrics mirror and if you notice i have used different fonts on different styles because ella style has a different you know each style is a style a different so you will have to use different fonts when you make presentation similarly yeah ha this is very this is very trending art nouveau sorry art deco in 2020 this is art deco again they have if you can see the lines playing a role and you can see colors are very strong very strong colors and very contrasting and uh, this is very trending and this is called picks so when you are making a room or something you can do this picks you can pick the elements that you want to use in your space or the the design or the space you're going to do and then you can this is called picks okay correct picks so you can pick them you can number them and then when you are using your space when you are designing your space you can add them or you can make a collection start making a collection of your own okay 
when you read a lot see you have to read a lot you have to understand a lot not only read you can visualize a lot you can see a lot you can hear a lot so start making a collection by your own this is going to help you i tell you okay again very sleek a uh, very different uh, washroom you can see a uh, very streamlined very linear symmetrical yeah mm -hmm. how many of you like this washroom you liked it i don't know your name uh, i can see you but i don't sorry i don't know the names so yeah so some people like this very see even the tap handle is like very detailed yeah very detailed and even if you see the wall fixtures these are called wall fixtures fixtures wall very more wall fixtures when you have on the floor you say floor fixtures ceiling fixtures comes like the light yeah and there is a line that is running these are all details that are followed mm -hmm. and the knobs see the knobs how detailed very classic no very classic element ha first in first in time ready so you can see a and b can you guess which staircase is art novo and which is art deco a is art deco b is deco b is novo wow that, that's 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 super fast that's good <laughs> i'm happy that you understood the point this was basically to make sure that you understood the point we are going to the most interesting part in the coming slides after the slide wait again after the slide okay again one guess what for you is um wait oh yeah a is art novo and b is art deco why is it so because b is having a lot of just like we were you already mentioned it's very symmetrical very symmetrical yeah it's very, very, very easy no other one is a little asymmetrical it's very yeah. curvy. curvy other one is a uh, use of uh, you know the geometrical shape geometrical. Exactly. and art novo is having a lot of like plants are being used as uh, decoration like they are one it's of the ornamentation mam kar ornamentation in the middle okay uh. ornamentation or decoration so art deco has a little lesser decoration yeah sure. compared to yeah. art novo so because art deco came later after uh, came later uh, uh, than uh, art novo so it's a, it's, it's a inspi inspired version of art novo So now going to the next one after this slide ah uh, sorry i'm making you wait i i, I like this uh, people waiting for the stuff this is modernism modernism is the word which is trending what is happening right now we, we have a mixture it's a combination it's really a combination it's you cannot it's more than a it's more than a style it is a philosophy hmm? modernist movement which happened uh, in late 80s to early 90s you can say uh um, again very international style throughout you can see this is a courtyard space and this uh you can see this staircase is coming in and you can see this is a glass it's a slab again you know this is normal ceramics not even marble not like mosaics normal mosaic tiles a slabs you can call it and this is called parquet parquet a wooden flooring and then you have a combination of rugs which is used and you can see these are this could be even metallic or even could be a wood element and see so you can you can see also this balustrade this is balustrade huh? this is called balustrade uh balustrade is not a typical balustrade hmm? if it was art novo or art deco you can see a very decorated balustrade correct uh da pariya balustrade nammle staircase erangumbulu nammle pidikku le yeah handrail and then you have a balustrade the supporting elements that is called balustrade so this is interesting yeah so here you have comfort you have function and okay affordability you cannot say you try to minimize some things of course but the other one art deco needs a lot of uh, you know a lot of economic value because it has a lot of ornamentation lot of elements more than the necessity correct art novo and art deco has more elements than the necessity again another interior 
here you can see the uh, ceiling has wooden elements and you can see the fixture the chandelier is a different chandelier you can see it's more like a floral or a curvy very organic structure very curvy and uh, you have a lot of use of lines at the same time but this curvy is breaking the element of uh, you know that linear look and you have uh, what to say a difference in the flooring also at the same time so example ha i told you i'm going to take you to the most interesting slides i'm going to take you to the most interesting slides of the presentation can you guess this interior space Anyone? Is it an airport? Singapore airport. Perfect. Perfect. It's Singapore airport. Can you give me the exact name? Changi Airport. Perfect. Changi. And what is this element called in Changi? In the IQ, it is the center of attraction. What do you call? Waterfall. Uh, something different so, it's a fountain i think it's it's called jewel na huh? jewel like our airport is the most striking element the jewel the gem na ka parila the jewel the hidden jewel hmm? see i told you i'm telling you again and again interior designing or interior space is not about designing rooms kitchens washrooms it's about designing other spaces too from the churches to the airports to the hospitality or to the hospitals or to the convention halls it could be you know you have a wide range so that's why i'm asking you or telling you again and again don't just get confined to small things dream big just imagine you are one of the member or the team who is designing who was responsible in designing the space wonderful right i would be happy if i was okay this was designed by okay i've been there huh? perfect super place i should say ha this great guy this canadian iraqi architect mr moshe safte okay you know ala chillara karnalla i should say from now this guy when he was studying designed habitat 67 in canada which is like housing complex have a look at it when you have time habitat 67 canada okay jewel changi airport singapore weaves together an experience of nature it's a combination of a nature marketplace what not a vibrant center okay you know what singapore is called a city of garden so they want to reflect the city of garden inside their airport yeah so when you visit you will not forget oh singapore airport the most designed airport a very striking airport in the world correct how many of you feel like going there shall i take you there shall i take you we go huh? yeah we we'll go i'm going to take you there uh i have to play this Sorry, I have to play this. Can you see? This is a skylight. And you can see the metro line running all over. Interesting, yeah? Interesting, yeah. Oh, I think I can do on the full screen. Just quickly show for those. That is a foggy effect which is being created, foggy effect, and you can see more of people does they just doesn't want to check in and check out from the airport. They want to take picture. They want to enjoy the serenity. They want to enjoy the space. They don't want to leave their foot. I am afraid they will miss their flight. Maybe I would miss my flight taking pictures. It's an Instagram point. To, to, it clicks it's an interior space now why i showed you this 
Any guesses why I showed you this? Hmm? No it is not restrained by anything. Mm -hmm. You can do this and even more. It's not about choosing some carpets or colors or floors or walls. You can do many more or much more things. Okay? Okay? Yes? Thumbs up. Very good. Now, see, everyone needs to get inspired, yeah? Okay, this Moshe Shabde, he's an Iraqi architect. So I was research, I like researching a lot. So I was researching. So when I heard he's an Iraqi, I was searching, you know, this is Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Write it down, Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Have a look at it. This is one of the seven wonders of ancient world, not new world, ancient world. So you can see it's like, Tattu Tattu Pola, Chedigal are hanging, like it's called hanging garden. So this concept he has used, and this is his sketches, not my sketches. His sketches I've used here. And then he has created a design evolution. This is called design evolution, a concept. Very important, it's called concept stitch. From an inspiration, you make sketches and then you make an outcome out of it, okay? This is called sketching design evolution. This is an inspiration. So, you know, they, they get inspired. This is called organic design. You know why it's called organic? It has got nothing to do with organic farming or organic uh, stuff, okay? What is this organic design? I have written down already. It's a philosophy of harmony between human habita habitation and the nature. So it's like how we can design or how we can create something which mingles with the nature so well, correct? So that's what he has done. This is called organic design. Another style for you guys, organic design, again and again. You know what? He, this was a competition, you know, some international competition they conduct and different designers participate and they put uh, an entry and once they win their design is going to come as a what when they win their design is going to come in place so this was a competition design he won his team won shaft day architects won and then it was finally in singapore how many of you like this design everyone huh so this is just to show you, this is the only part that we saw. You have terminals and everything. I'm just, I just highlighted this area. This is the jewel and uh, this is the space. I just wanted to show you in the floor plan. You will have, you know, you are the beginners in the design. So you will have to, you know, make all these things, all these drawings and stuff is going to come later on. Okay, you know what? In the interiors, they are trying to bring a curiosity. So uh, that's why I highlighted this as a green with a red dashed line. See, as you enter, you're having, you can see a little bit of greens. So there is curiosity, suspense only, correct? Like film, you want to know what is in the end. So what do you do? Instead of going for other area, you walk straight. This is called creating suspense or creating curiosity. And he has successfully achieved it. Can you see these installations? Yeah, these are called installations. All hang from the top. This is called installations, yeah? This is, uh, you can mostly use in public space because you need a lot of space, like a high volume space you need. Installations. Mm -hmm. Ha, you can see cascades. Cascades of water or lush green. It's called rain vortex. This is called rain vortex. So it's a toroidal effect. So it's it's, a, it's like a funnel shape. Funnel shape they have created and the water is all flowing through that. So here, how beautifully this interior space has been created. Okay. Going. Again to few pictures. There are a lot of foggy bowels. Yeah. And See, people would like to do early check-in. You know why? They want to roam around. They want to see the interiors. They want to sit here. They want to have a talk. They want to take a video. So people want to come here early. They don't want to do an early check-in. 
and enjoy. And not only that, not only the people who are using the airport, the other people who are living in Singapore also wants to come to this place because the interior is created so beautifully. You can also check Gardens of the Bay, okay? Gardens by the Bay or Gardens for the Gardens by the Bay by Moshe Shafte again. Have a look at it, okay? So I told you this is an aspiration. This is Jewel Chanki, curiosity among Singaporeans and all for the destination arrivals who comes there and for the non-traveling people also. If I'm there, I would have gone there, just even though if I'm not traveling. Okay, now going. Who is she? Any idea? Any idea? This lady, Zaha Hadid. I'm going to tell you, but, some of you are going to like. Bella Hadid. No, maybe, maybe. Zaha Hadid. Some of you know her already? Queen of Waves. Sorry? Queen of Waves. Queen of Curves. Yes, Queen of Curves. Unfortunately, she's not with us anymore. And her last design was for Opus Emmy Dubai. Fortunately, I got to see the construction from A to Z because this was just right opposite of my office back then. Okay, so I'm going to it. Here you can see it has, basically it is two separate towers and joined by a block. Okay, uh, this is in business day. This is Opus and I'm going to take you to the interior. Interior is amazing space. I'm going to take it to you there. So it's two separate tower into a single tower. Like a, you know what style is used here? Deconstructivism. Deconstructivism. Here, here. Note it down. Deconstructivism. You know what it is? Breaking all the, unleashing infinite possibilities of playing around with volumes and spaces. See, it's not like typical lines or anything. It's more going to be curvy, playing with all sort of forms. Yeah? Not like breaking all classical designs. Okay, breaking all traditional elements. I'm happy that you're noting it down. I'm very happy about it. Thank you guys. Appreciating it. Cool, cool. Yeah. Deconstructivism. This is her style. Breaking all classical designs. You saw Art Deco. You saw Art Nouveau. You saw minimalism. You saw modernism. But now you are you saw organic designs. Now you are standing to deconstructivism. Let's see what is deconstructivism of Zaha Hadid and Patrick Shoemaker. Wow, nice. This is the interior space. Nice. Look at the columns. Like a petal, like a petal of a flower. This is a column, pillar in the body. Correct? We are going to use more te technical terms from now. We call it column. Okay, column, not pillar. Column. And see the seating. Very nicely co like contrasted, I would say. Nice natural light is falling. You can see a strip cove lighting. This is cove lighting, C-O-V-E, cove lighting. Nice flooring, a very, uh, very mon monotonous. Monotonous means same flooring running throughout. And you can see this, these furniture elements also like very, what to say, very uh, curved. And you can see lines are not straight, correct? Lines are zigzagging a bit. And you can see the furniture is like giving a contrast. Yeah, this much color. Uh -huh. Nice. So you have solid, void, fluidity, and orthogonality. Orthogonality is 90s. Next. Mm -hmm. Enjoying this? Enjoying this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see how the lights are embedded. These are lights. These are all cove lights and they are running from, even from the walls to the ceiling. Walls to the ceiling. This is again balustrade. Don't, do you remember the Art Nouveau staircase or balustrade? Modernism balustrade. Now you have a very different king. The constructivism balustrade. So different. I have been here, okay? Amazing place. It looks exactly the same as the pictures. Ha, look, 
Nice. Look at the furniture element. Very curvy. Very nice. And see the glass balustrade. Is it at? It is at an angle. Zaha Deed always plays with angles. Always she plays with angles. And you can see the. You know why there is a break in the glass because it cannot be molded in one single piece. Okay, in the construction point of view, you cannot take it one single piece. So you have to break them into different elements. Which is happening? See, and this is the top cover. Okay, and did you see how these? You know why? What what people do? People come here and drag this, and keep the laptop or whatever. This is very draggable. You can keep it in wherever location you want. Even these seats, you can just drag and sit. And uh, and this is when you place your feet or when uh, it's pressed, you get these patterns naturally. So as you press, you get these patterns. Nice, no? you're creating your pattern and uh, did you see the shape it's not normal square or rectangle the edges are all curved yeah very metallic finish this is her style this is opus run by me wow this is a reception desk here it was nice when i was there i i wanted to click a lot of pictures but i was a little bit shy because everyone is looking at me because i was like i'm a designer and I, when i see a space like this i want to take pictures and see this is this is the wall feature see it's like lines in like you know the intricate this is called intricate you have too many lines running in a flow intricate lines and you don't need anything else in the as a wall feature correct very nice now this is a uh, this is not her design but it is in the same building this is by uh, another uh, company called x bishop design xdd in dubai itself we are doing amazing interiors okay not only in dubai all over the world uk you call it germany you call it australia everywhere she is running all over so she did this design which has to match with the style of saha hadid so you know this furniture this metallic furniture and um, it's amazing correct the, the column stays there so when there is no light it looks like this in the previous image you saw with the light correct yeah no expression expression please <laughs> very good now see these wall features if you see so this is a wall feature it's called wall feature okay for me i didn't like the seats i felt this is not giving me a lot of comfort i like to be a cuddle a little more but uh, okay some people like this it's according to each and everyone's taste ha ah, this room can you imagine this room you got to have a chance to sleep in this room wow nice see you are not able to separate which is wall which is floor which is ceiling it's just like one single element running from the top to the wall to the floor one single element this is one single element this is called floor she is well known for her geometrical shapes i am not going to read all these things because you are seeing it you are witnessing it see you can see nice like kalakata marble or she has used very nice i think it's satuario kalakata marble from italy or you know nice and use the look at the mirror wow look at the shape is a different shape look at the lighting look at uh, nothing more saha hadid yeah no doubt okay and when you draw the designs as an i'm just going to show you how the plan is going to look like so you will have to draw how each element is going to look like because someone is going to manufacture this and the person who is manufacture need to know how your element or how you dream or how your vision is going to look like so you have to give them proper drawings correct how the furniture is going to look how the bed is going to look how every space is going to look correct so you will have to even draw what angle is this you cannot simply scribble something you should give them proper details okay this is not easy huh you have to give them proper details what angle is this what uh, like what is the length what is the curvature why is it curved you should have proper reason what material what height what depth everything okay this is just a layout i'm going to show you because you are going to do this in future ha ah, this is like a one bedroom layout yeah the bedroom is on the top so you this is look at the stairs look at the stairs 
you don't have a riser riser varimbo steps in the e bagam that vertical bagam you don't have a riser you have only thread this is called thread kali vekkina bagam is called thread and this portion is called riser you don't have riser it's it's basically open okay this is called uh like no riser but you have a thread and see th this is called shadow gap people do a lot of these shadow gap elements because these small details can give you a very different look i like these shadow gaps because now they have used a different material also a lining this is lining can you see these punctures punctures and there is light element in these punctures this is gradation again gradation and uh, she unveils the korean dominated custom what is this let's look in the next slide again a small layout of the bedroom okay now going to the next one ah more clearer image see the puncture starts from the wall going all the way as you travel the steps and then it goes to the ceiling nice from the wall to the ceiling so it, you feel this is traveling along with you and look at the balustrade and the glass this is the top rail yeah see it's so sleek very sleek design this is parquet again look at the furniture unit very curved can you see any straight furniture in her design no straight furniture very curved actually good for kids they will not hit anywhere they will not get uh, you know sharp hits that's the best thing about these curves and uh, did you see these these are retractable of course home automated i keep everything will be under ipad control you know you will be able to open your ac or switch on your curtains or tv everything will be this ipad this called home automation system which is very trending now i think nice one bedroom apartment ha this is this is like you know this corridor uh this has signage you know like detectable signages especially nowadays uh, in western countries not only western countries you can see robots robots come for room cleaning so they can detect from the signages so you know it's very detectable see breakfast please, please. so signages on the doors the room numbers are mentioned on the bottom side and look at the ceiling again curved so the sink if you see the sink it's not like a normal sink it's very curved and if you see the glass wow and materials for space of lighter use remain unaffected in varying levels of moisture okay and sometimes you have to create these types of sink so what they there are different materials to give this curvy nature this is called korean okay there are many material one of them is korean and she used a lot of korean and uh, they customized these counter tops so this was a question but i answered myself mm -hmm. okay now some other examples of uh, deconstructivist interiors smooth like sand dune right like a sand dune very smooth running from one end to another nice yeah thumbs up please ladies gents yeah ha look at this column column is going to the ceiling it's like one of my student told me that miss this looks like melting wax i said yeah it's it's it yeah you're right maybe it is the concept of melting wax she said this looks like melting wax i'm like yeah it is maybe yeah true and see this one is like a continuity so there's a continuity of elements and connectivity i should say if you notice the seating space is going to the wall correct the wall element is coming down as a seating space connection again look at these furniture elements ha when i showed another student this she said ha ah, this looks like uh, the silk folds the silk fold fold you know this fold the curls fold what a space what a double height what a installation ceiling installation what a light 
again another installations for you to have a better idea in changi airport also we saw some installations if you remember yes and these are other installations you know uh, once when i went to tkm college uh, back then maybe a uh, very long back 2012 or something they had made some installation like this with paper cups paper cups okay uh, and i was like wow it's, that time i was like wow it's nice it's like you know these um, i don't know this pressing bubbles that you get something you know it looks like that but no it it has lot of effort huh, to make this and this is again you have you get to buy all these things this is called installations mm. another installation ceiling installation metallic effect and uh, let's see this nice mm. ah again going back to saha uh, this is a rocker london okay fortunately i was blessed to visit her office in dubai because we work in the same building okay and uh, she's no more uh, i went to her office one day and then you know, they were like showing showcasing almost all their works so this is the roka london gallery nice look at this wall feature look at the reception desk again look at the ceiling wow look at this cut Hmm, very curvy, huh? Very curvy. Look at the shadow gaps. Wall to the floors and running all the way. Hmm, this is in China. It's an opera. Please note down the names, please, and have a look at it. I shouldn't say please. I think you will. And look at the balustrades. the thickness the style the light element is an opera huh? thank you i think we are done thank you so much i think i i can see 65 participants any questions any doubts and uh, i want to ask you something who is your which style inspired you the most i know it's very tough to ask 65 of you but maybe you can uh, put in your chat so i can have a quick look which style inspired you the most the voting time starts now Export, no harm. Which style? So, Pna, I think I cannot read the chat, or I can read the chat. It, it, it should come to you. I've changed the settings. Ah, wow. Well. Can you see? Yes, yes. Deconstructivism. Okay. Modernism. Uh huh. Deconstructivism. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know the time is Dubai time. That's why it's showing that long. Okay. Okay. Deconstructivism. I want to see more. Yalla, yalla, yalla means fast, fast, huh? Deconstructs Art Novo, Bustana Abdul Latif. Can I see your thumbs up from you? Cannot see you, Bustana. Yes, she's there. Uh, uh, sorry, I have so many, so I'm not able to. You unmute, Bustana. Oh wow, wow, wow! I can see you, Bustana. Finally, yeah, finally, yeah. Okay, modernism, modernism, Angel George, wow, Abhishek, modernism, Princey, Art Novo. I'm glad that every each one of you have different tastes. It's not that you know, it's not that everyone. Anyway, it's all everyone is different. Yeah, Art Novo, pop art minimalism, Reshma Joy, Reshma. I'm not able to see you, Reshma. Reshma, can you unmute? Reshma, okay, okay. Minimalism, Abhijit, Abhijit. Ah, minimalism, Abhijit. Glad, I'm very glad. Gopika Murali, minimalism and deconstructivism. It can work. 
It's, it's a good compo. It can work. It can work. Kudos to you. Uh, at Nova Sahala, sorry, I'm not able to read all of, all of your names, but inshallah, I'll go one by one later. But it's very nice that all of you have a different like inspiration. You know, sometimes, okay, I'm just telling you, I mean, initially, uh, my style was like a contemporary modern, okay? And I came and I started working here. My office style is minimalism, okay? Now, after working with my boss, Mr. Dominic Wonders, I have that minimalism style. Gradually, you get it. It, it also depends on where you work or whom you're associated with, or maybe your teachers, or maybe with your client. After working with a client for so long, you get that flow, okay? Maybe you'll change yourself. That also will happen. What I would say is go along with the flow in order to survive, okay? And this design or something is not that, it's not like a spoon feeding. It should, you have to do a lot of research. You have to study, not study. You cannot call it study. I like it. Uh, research, research, re read a lot, understand new terminologies, understand new things happening around the world, get inspired, get imbibed. Yeah. So it's, it's, see this, it starts from now. It will never end. I am, old, I'm still studying. Now, see. Every day I'm studying new things. Yesterday I was sitting with some lighting consultants, studying new lighting fi fixtures, understanding for my new project in Vienna again. So yeah, yeah, everyone did. I got enough replies. Tadawa and do hundred percent. Abhijit, wow. I I really wanted someone to like Tadawa and He has really amazing works. Check his works out. Huh? He has a lot of uh, Japanese gardens and stuff. Very nice guy. Pop art, I'm very happy. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Abhijit, again, Chunky. Uh, Moshe Shaf, again, deconstructivism, minimalism. And, okay, minimalism and deconstruction. Dilara, Fatima works, yeah. Sham, Ajit, uh, Shamjit, Shamjit, sorry. Deconstructivism, organic design. Hamda Arif, very nice to hear from you. Good, good. Moshe Shafde, you can check more. Even, even Saha does um, uh, organic designs. Yeah, you can check out Haider Ali Museum in um, Azerbaijan, Baku. Haider Ali Center, Azerbaijan, Baku. So if you want, can they see this class again? If they want to see some terminologies, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. If you if you miss some terminologies. Go back to the class, listen to these words, yeah, again. Very good. Uh, loved late Saha, these deconstructors, yes, she's no more, but the company's still running with Patrick Shoemaker. Very futuristic, very true. I Kudos to you. Tadao Ando, yes, even I am his great fan. Ah, oh, I have been to Haider Ali, Hamda Arif, very nice. Share us your experience next time. Show us some pictures. It's very nice inside. The interior is beautifully done. Organic design. Couldn't see the inside though, uh, Hamda. Next time, next time. Next time, maybe I can give you a class when there is time. Okay. Any questions from your end? Open, open floor. Did I inspire you in one or other way? Yes or no? Can I have it on the screen, please? Yes or no? If you like my class, oh, uh, you got insp Oh, thumbs up. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wow. Mm -hmm. This looks great. Can I see the screen first? It will be a proud moment for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see. You can see on the screen. Any doubts? Did you uh, was like you can give me comments? Well, am, I, like, am I too fast? Or Loved your class. Thank you so much. Really superb. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Let me know if I can be to any use of helping you in any ways. Like, should I slow down a bit? Because I, I had almost 52 slides. So even I was scared whether I would be able to complete in this one class, you know, I was really worried that I would be able to complete in one go. Because I wanted to really explain all these things to you. Open floor. Any doubt? Oh, is it that clear? Crystal clear? Students, you can open up, you can unmute and speak. You just no problem. everything. You can talk. Ma'am. Yes. Bustana, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, in minimalism, it's basically function, functional, the functionality is the 
like the main point right yeah exactly point right uh, so as human beings we have lots of wants we are like we see some things and we are like we want that we want that it's like it's in our behavior so as a designer also we have that wants as well yeah yeah so how do we do this is there a limit like where should we put the limit like see, when we are trying to design something especially in the uh, minimalism style how do we control ourselves okay let me give you an example i think i'll code with an example see um sometimes some there i'll tell you in terms of clients okay there are clients where they don't have an idea at all okay they don't have an idea what they want and some clients are clients with lot of wants i want this i want that but then you will have to uh you will have to sit with them and understand you know for example if i'm designing for bustana i'll sit with you bustana i'll understand i'll have a chat with you this is what happens in our office i'll have a chat with you i'll understand i'll ask you what are your needs what really you want i will say see you can you have certain limitation it's not that you design something and then you throw to them and then uh, kalas my job is done it's not like that. it's like a bond between the designer and the client it starts from the day in first because it is not only designing it's also execution it's also handing over so whatever you design has to be finally done and has to be given to them and they should be happy so for example if i have a, a one one of the clients okay in one of the luxury villa we asked uh, we had like a questionnaire we had some question we really had questionnaire because it was a very high end had almost eight bedrooms you know and eight bedrooms had different uh, uses for grandma to grandpa to granddaughters to uncle aunts so we really wanted to ask because each person there are kids so kids have a different needs so they said we want a room to make baby food see we want a room with a baby pool i want a shower looking at burj khalifa that was another guy's demand so we had to make a window which is facing which is fully open and uh, having a nice shower oh, let him enjoy so there are another another client which is like i want my door to open to the garden so you know you really have to communicate you really should know as you said once now right now it's your day day one or day two right bustana later on when you are going through all the phases of design you will know what are your wants you will know and sometimes it's very hard to get from the client also. i have a very difficult client i have a very difficult client she doesn't know what so i will have to ask her can you tell me did you like this so i can proceed and sometimes we have to pressurize them sometimes sometimes they get annoyed but you know you have to deal with all these things it doesn't happen you know uh, sometimes you know um, please um, we have to get this work done the workers are on site please agree or if you don't like can you give us a design feedback like what what do you want what what do you really want like this type or that type show us you know before all that we also give mood boards like art novo art deco minimalism uh, organic style we give mood boards like how it is going to look so then they get an idea our interior designer does a mood board and then uh, i say pooja can you put all that and then she makes some nice designs and like ah uh, then client okay i like this sometimes it's a mix ah huh? it picks from one from this style one from that style from from other one and then you have to make a mix maybe the each room is going to look different did i answer you yeah. thank you ma'am most welcome okay i open our inspiring thank you thank you yeah yeah this slides took a lot of time you know <laughs> uh, to prepare my busy schedule yes it took a lot of time a lot of time melting wax is it made of concrete no no that one was not concrete but you can still do with concrete that is possible to do with concrete also you know what you do you make a mesh in any shape what you want you make a mesh in that shape and then you pour the concrete it's it's a different concrete it's not like the normal concrete okay which is a lightweight concrete so that that concrete um takes the shape of the mesh that you place it's like a mold you got my point so you get the shape but that one could be even done with a wooden element and then you you can there is called powder coating 
especially with uh, aluminium you can powder coat with different colors it's you can just check on internet it's called powder coating uh, there are different styles it's like painting mm, like high pressure painting you can do that but you can also do with concrete concrete would be much cheaper option but you know to remove a concrete structure is a you know it's a headache for interior they would be mostly open because they want to move from one place to another unless it's your own space especially for uh, commercial projects yeah offices or uh, things like that thank you amal amal or amal thank you so much anything is it clear is it, oh bustan again shoot 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 yes, i can okay. uh, so in mo modernism so in modernism how do you maintain creativity because there's a lot of similar things in modernism right yeah in modernism style so how do you maintain like the creativity did you see the balustrade the balustrade wasn't yes. wasn't something that you see normal things there is a creative pack if you see the rug the carpet the rug you know there is new trends happening there is creativity that you can give even the fabrics even the wall texture you can make it really creative you know what it's not easy each element has to be designed and detailed to the finite to get to the precision on site with my experience i tell you designing to execute planning it's called initiation planning execution monitoring controlling when you monitor on site and then closing and then finally hand over you know sometimes you do everything and then client comes no i want to change that room huh? go back you need a lot of patience but i tell you this is one of the most loved career and most interesting career each day is different for you each day is different it's not a monotonous job it's not that you mug up and study each day is going to be different hi ab ibn did you ever had a client ask for deconstructive style um no i didn't have a client of deconstructive style um i wish i wish i had a client who asked for a deconstructive style i like no deconstructive things i wish i had a client who ask but we are currently doing one uh, villa which is art deco one day i will show you okay provoke my curiosity i'm happy to hear that reshma to make similar kind of structures in a innovative way yeah this called inspiration i am here to inspire you i'm i'm glad that you are inspired thank you so much any cool huh ma'am mm -hmm. uh, ma'am uh, apart from uh, the above uh, styles you had uh, mentioned no ma'am other than this do we have any oh, others of course of course there are but you know then then we won't be able to i'll be talking non stop i'll be talking non stop and uh, it cannot be you know there are more styles of course i'm just showed you the most contrasting styles so that you can have a clear picture like uh, now i am sure you have a clear picture now from organic to deconstructivism from modernism to art nouveau art deco or from minimalism so if you know these then others are going to get so uh, ma'am can you conclude uh, uh, what all the styles you have mentioned right now by saying I'll say quickly okay we started off with tadao and this minimalism okay we started off with tadao and this minimalism and then we go we went to art no and then we went art no okay before minimalism we also spoke about mies van der rohe please mies van der rohe we spoke he's a german architect very designer furniture designer mies very famous So Mies van der Rohe, Tadao Ando from minimalism, I spotted out very great designers. Respect to all of them. Then we spoke about Art Nouveau, mm -hmm. Art Deco, all classical designs, all classical designs in late eighties and early nineties. If you see Art Nouveau, Art Deco, just Pinterest, you see a lot of mood boards. 
then we spoke about uh, modernism okay the father of modernism is called louis solvian s u l l i v a n just type his name you get all the information about him solvian and uh, father of modernism again i didn't i didn't have time to put uh, uh, frank gehry please note down frank gehry f r a n k gehry is g e h r y Walt Disney Concert Hall. Walt Disney Concert. Amazing piece of art. Huh? Please see. Amazing piece of art. He has also done Bilbao Museum in US. Walt Disney Concert Hall. Have a look. Amazing. I wanted to show you today, but you know, I already covered 53 slides, so I was limited. Uh, please look. And then uh, Frank Gehry. And then what? Uh, then we spoke about uh, modernism finish. Then organic, organic design. Moshe Shafde. Moshe Shafte, M O S H I E, M O S H I E, Safte, S A F D I E, Safte, Safte. Moshe Shafte is uh, an uh, Iraqi Canadian architect. Hanging Gardens, sorry, Hanging Gardens of Babylon, Changi Airport. We searched a lot about him. Then we went to what? Sahas, deconstructivism, and some other examples of deconstructivism. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Any anything else? What more can I do for you? Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Hi, uh, Anjali. Anjali. Ah, Anjali. Anjali. Yes. Uh, can we combine two contrasting designs like? Uh, uh, minimalism plus modernism or like uh, deconstructivism plus you can uh, combine minimalism of course yes yes you can see there is no there is no barrier for design there is no barrier there is no barrier for design but it should be pleasing my boss always says make it beautiful he always says make it beautiful whatever you do make it beautiful so at the end it should be good. There is no design principle. You, there is no strict rules, but make it beautiful. Make it make sure you are giving justice. Correct. Sorry for not asking you directly. Construction is going on. How different is Latin decor design from other designs? Uh, and a little information on Greek interior. I should. I think I should prepare a slide for you. I cannot give in one. Shot like this, Ibn, Ibn, yeah, Ibn. Maybe next class I can give you a little more on Greek. But I say, I tell you, it's more Greek, is more if you search for Greek. I can say, um, check on Parthenon, Parthenon, uh, Greek architecture, Greek temple designs, interior, very nice. The Corinthian columns, very decorative, very, very decorative, very ornamental. I should say Greek designs are very ornamental, very decorative, highly ornamented, no reductive, too much decoration. Then Latin is more on geometrical. Yeah. I really, so I think even uh, check on uh, Pantheon, Parthenon, Greek architecture, Greek designs, very ornamented. You can get a lot. Like your class, this class is very useful. Thank you. Thank you, Huda and uh, Shirin. Uh, Noora, I read your message. Huh? You know, uh, when people don't say the name, even if I was you, I would be, oh my gosh, she didn't say my name. Don't get upset, yeah? Don't do that, huh? Ma'am, I liked every style. I always get confused between I love. I love Earthy. I was, this confusion is there throughout your life. We are humans. This should be there. It's not your problem. Okay? I love earthy and yeah, of course. Why don't you mix earthy with floral monochrome? Yeah, you, can I create something different? Yes, of course. And uh, inshallah, in future, you will be known for princey designs. Princey, of course. You are going to trend set. Did, didn't you see in one image from Art Deco, which was very contrasting? It was not something that art, other Art Deco pictures were looking like. Yeah? Yes, princey, go ahead. Love to see that. Next. Even I was like that, yeah? I changed a lot. 
I, I got inspired, I should say that, thanks to uh, Mr. Dominic. <laughs> um, thank you, Marisi, ma'am. Raima, thank you, huh? Thank you. Thank you so much for your feedback. Anything else? Can I? Anything else? I have uh, two topics for coming sessions. Um, one was uh, engineer designing in professional practice. Uh, another one uh, was, um, sorry, is um, 2D and other design like techniques that you can use for designing like 2D and 3D techniques. So what do you want to see first? Any, any voting? Any voting from your end? It's okay, I can do from end. No, I think... Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Did they, have you got the question what she was asking? She's talking about her upcoming classes, the topics what she's planning to do for you in the upcoming classes. One is interior design in professional practice and second one is uh, techniques of 2D and 3D techniques. So do you... Yeah, somebody's asking for 2D techniques. Yeah, see, it's, it's like, see, 2D techniques means I would be introducing like uh, different way softwares. You cannot learn in one go. I would, I could only say the names and what the output, what the input and what the output is going to look like. You understood? Because there are uh, so many 2D and 3D techniques. I will be just showing you from the input and the output, how you can create. There are many things that you can do also. Techniques, yeah, okay, inshallah, next class. You know, to ask half of them would come for uh, interior design professional brands, and other half would ask. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know this is going to happen, but yeah. I would promise I will do it both for you. So don't worry. Yeah, I just want to. I'm glad you're all responding so well. I'm happy. I like to teach. I love teaching. I like to see your faces. Is your country popular? Very, uh, see, it's not the country. Uh, okay, I live in Arabic country, but uh, for Arabs, it's not, uh, now they are following open plan now, uh, but it's more a Western culture. M my company is a German company. So we follow a lot of open plan. We follow German architecture techniques and details. Thick elements and thick walls and open look. This is what we follow. Yes, uh, so yeah, so, and there are sometimes when we have to have privacy and we need to close down from the open plan. Yes, we do. Some of your works I can, uh, but then, you know, I cannot do on YouTube streaming. That's the main thing. I cannot, uh, because I have copyright issues, I cannot put uh, on YouTube. So once we don't have a streaming, I will show my works in this on screen. I wanted to show, I wanted to show some walkthroughs. But uh, because of uh, streamlining, I cannot do it. I, but we will do it, inshallah. I promise that. I'm a project manager, so I execute work. I have people, I have designers, uh, you know, a small boss huh? <laughs> in one way. Uh, about India, uh, I was in India. Um, I did um, most of my see, last five to six years I'm here. And I travel India very, very few times. I would like to see other countries. So I keep traveling to other countries to explore the architecture world or interior spaces around. Yeah, of course I did. Uh, if you search in YouTube, Open Minds, Birla, that is my project. I did the design. Open Minds, Birla, Hyderabad, school. The kindergarten session is full my design, my soul, I should say. Uh, so if you search, you can find it on YouTube. Let see, I think the question uh, that Abhin was asking is, he was asking about open plans, whether India is okay for op open uh, plans. Of course, of course, yes. If you see, yes, yes, India is very much open. Yes, India is very much open to open plans. Are you open? Starts from you. Are you open? I am open. Yes, you are open. Starts from you. Do you like open kitchen? Sorry, I would say no. You know why the smell spreads? Because we have Indian cooking, okay? If you do uh, Western cooking, it's okay. You don't sandwich juice, why, why, why not? 
Uh, okay, India, ma'am. Okay, sorry, I got the question wrong. Less uh, constructive deconstruction requires specially skilled laborers for construction since there is a lot of, yes, anything needs specially skilled laborers, even for, even for modernism. If you don't have specially skilled laborers, whatever you want will not come like that. Anything requires skill. And next thing is that um, for deconstruction, you need a factory actually. You need a manufacturing unit because it has to cut out like that. It, it's sometimes an order. You place an order to a supplier and the supplier brings it onto the site. But you give the drawings. You understood? You give the design, you give the drawings, the supplier bring, does it and brings to the site. So you need a specially skill. Even for an art deco, you need, yeah? <laughs> Otherwise, you will not get it. You will not get it what you want. You will not be happy. You'll be complaining. Even the client will be complaining. Anything? Hello, excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, Atira Krishnan. Uh, yeah, yes, I have one question there. In Kerala, here is a style calling Vastu Vidya. And it really feel like, a, like an orthodox system. And if make one more step in uh, the plan, it will make mm -hmm. very beautiful. And my question is that, uh, when we make our plan, in interior designing plan, mm. uh, uh, beyond India, mm. what kind of problems uh, you face are like this? Very interesting question. And this I wanted to cover in my interior design professional practice. But I'll give you a peep peep now, okay? Okay, Vastu is, Vastu is one type of regulation, okay? Some clients say, I want Vastu, is one type of regulation which limits or which uh, confines your um, design, yeah? You have a limitation because of that. Similarly, you have limitations. Usually, um, interior doesn't have that much regulations outside the country. It's more architecture exterior, which has limitations. Uh, there are limited regulations from the municipality. From here, for example, if you are building in one uh, developer, one place, for example, I'm going, I, I, you're all from Calicut, yeah? Or different places, I don't know. Are you all from Calicut or different places? Different places. Okay, I will just give you an example. Uh, sorry, I'll relate to Cochin because I'm from Cochin. I don't know other places to say. So, uh, for example, if I'm building in Marine Drive and the Marine Drive is under one developer, and the developer says you have to you have to follow a prototype. A prototype means like all the apartments should look alike. You have certain regulations. You have to follow that. They bring out catalogs on that, so you have to follow. You understood? But you can make changes, uh, not changes means you can, some areas are loose where you can design a lot, but some areas are tight. For example, balustrade height, you have to have 1,150. That is a standard, millimeters, yeah? In meter, if I say, you understood? 1150 should be the height. That is a regulation. Hmm? And then here, if you see, all uh, kitchen should have hood, yeah, fire, and sometimes you cannot, you know, this fire uh, thing, you cannot paint fire thing, which is red in color. Sometimes it lo loses the, the aesthetic of the ceiling. You have white ceiling and then you have the red fire alarm. That's a regulation. What do you can do? You cannot paint the red fire alarm white. I can show you a picture from my office, yeah? <laughs> we have the same issue. Everything is black, except this red fire alarms. That's a regulation. You can't, like that, now. I hope so, if it's clear for everyone. So, uh, anybody want to give a thank you to the to Maricia or, uh, or do you want me to conclude? How is it? You want to say? Somebody want to speak? You're shy huh, to speak. No, they're normally not shy. Okay, so I think uh, it was a long time, Alicia. Like uh, around. Yeah, they wrote enough comments. I think there are a lot of comments already from there, and I think that is good enough. Okay, are so, all tired. <laughs> it's all, all I'm mentioning. Thank you, ma'am. Love your class. So, Alicia, it was a splendid session. I uh, appreciate and envy your uh, energy. Okay, so, so, <laughs> and the involvement both. Thanks. I think, uh, from the beginning till now, like you are the, the same uh, strength, the same energy is going on. 
so so let us let us meet soon in the next class um, so till then it's thank you from Sundar Bay as well as from all the participants here from all the freshers these are all my fresh batch of uh, yeah then they're the newcomers uh, to the to the family so uh, so nice and thank you so much uh, so we would be meeting next Friday right again next Friday. Yeah, so next Friday again, same time, uh, we will meet. Uh, so Melissa will be back, ma'am will be back with the, all your, uh, whatever small, small doubts you had answered and with the new topic, whatever she is planning to give you, either the professional practice or 2D and 3D, uh, 3D and 3D techniques. So let's, uh, let's wind up the day now. And uh, so we will meet you all tomorrow, uh, students. So tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. is your next session. Uh, so till then, Bye-bye to all of you. Go enjoy your lunch. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.